The second year of the Golden Sky Country Music Festival is in the books as tens of thousands of fans took over Discovery Park. And ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sanga explains the impact of this event on the region and why it will only get bigger next year. Whether it's near a stage. Let's go, baby, Golden Sky! Woo! Or on the dance hall. Sky Festival was a party. It's an awesome environment. I get to line dance over here and ride the bull. Lady Wilson was definitely probably my favorite. Tens of thousands of country music fans poured into Discovery Park on the heels of Aftershock. The second year festival brought in bigger musical acts and more people. You know, Sacramento came out to party this weekend with us and we've had just a magical weekend. And so to have that growth from a year one to a year two festival is is really remarkable. Even more remarkable from the economic side. And our second year is phenomenal growth. Mike Testo with Visit Sacramento says the two day event is set to take in an estimated $12 million in economic impact. <laughs> and now plans are already underway for the third year of Golden Sky as the festival will expand to three days. When it's a two-day festival, you see a lot of folks from the market attending. When you go to three days, you do get more visitors in. So certainly, the locals will still get to enjoy it, but it will bring more people in from outside. As the music flows through Discovery Park, so will the cash flow throughout the region. As the festival comes to a close, organizers say over the two days, about 60,000 fans attended. Looks like a lot of fun, and that was our Garge Paul Sunga reporting. The headliner tonight was Eric Church, and as Aftershock and Golden Sky are in the review mirror, now Sacramento's attention turns to Ironman California, the triathlon, next weekend.